and lying down on our backs here. So we'll hug the knees into your chest or actually just hold your knees here with your hands. So not quite all the way into the chest and just kind of rock yourself from side to side, maybe even move the legs um, back and forth a little bit. Just finding what feels good for your back at the moment and then start to circle the knees around a few times and just tuning in paying attention to um, making the circle a little smaller or a little larger and seeing what serves you best today so really being able to listen and explore on your own here circling the other direction. So you have a lot of room to play. This is um, what I'd like for you to, to take into your practice. Allow yourself to play with um, what I offer. So from here, uh, let's go ahead and bring your right knee into chest and stretch the left leg out nice and long. We'll circle the toes and ankles around. And then slowly circle around the other direction. Flex and point through the, the arches and the toes, the ankles. We'll bring the knee out towards your right armpit, hugging that. Uh, as you hug the knee towards your armpit, we're dragging the outer hip and the outer thigh bone um, of your right hip, outer hip, down towards your left big toe. Really hugging the midline there, moving towards a more neutral spine and pelvis. And then let's bring your right leg over top of the left thigh, flexing. Uh, that ankle again, that right ankle a lot, interlacing underneath the thigh or over top of the knee here. And then just gently rocking a little bit side to side, just helping to loosen up the, the glutes and the outer hip a little bit here. Breathing into that. And then maybe finding a little bit of stillness. Maybe closing down the eyes and really tune into your breath. Allow yourself to settle in here. And then let's bring your left leg, your left foot down to the mat. We're gonna extend the right leg towards the ceiling, interlacing underneath that right thigh. Remember you can always bend the right knee as much as you need, and we're gonna slowly start to stretch your left leg down onto the mat. You can always bend that left leg as well. Let's circle the toes and ankles around again. Just really articulate through the feet, get some mobility and flow through those feet. So same thing here as we continue to stretch, maybe just relax your feet for now. We're hugging that outer hip and that outer thigh of the right side down towards the left big toe. And you'll feel hopefully the pelvis neutral uh, comes into a neutral position as well as the lower back. Couple breaths here. And then from here, let's go ahead and lift the heart and chest up nice and high, hugging the navel towards your spine, really uh, finding, accessing your deep core muscles here. And you can also lift the left leg just barely off the ground. Nice deep exhales through the mouth, perhaps. Making that SH sound, which helps to activate those deep pelvic floor muscles in the transverse abdominis. Lifting a little bit higher, one more breath. Try to keep your neck relaxed here too, so it's all coming from the core. Exhaling when you're ready, release back down. We're gonna cross the right leg over top of the left, 
So maybe wrapping the toes behind the ankle, right arm underneath the left, crossing elbows and wrists. Take a nice inhale here, lengthen through your sides. And as you exhale again, accessing deep core muscles, lift the heart and chest. Inhale, keeping your neck relaxed, keeping your shoulders relaxed. Exhale. Shh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Shh. Inhale as you lengthen, keeping the forearms and the shins parallel to the ground. Exhale. Shh. Last time, inhale. So you can lift a little higher, exhaling. Shh. Inhale, so you can lift a little higher as long as it's coming from your center and not from your neck or shoulders. One more deep breath, a little higher. Exhale, slowly release back down. Let's go ahead and uncross the legs and move the hips off over to your right side. We'll bring the knees over to the left. So find a, a true twist of the spine here by stacking your right hip directly above the left so that you feel, you can put your hand back here and feel that your the pelvis is uh, congruent. And then go ahead and open the right arm, turning your gaze over the right shoulder and releasing the neck. So allowing ourselves here to again soften and let go of the controls a little bit. Even in times of what we think are more certain than others, the only thing that we have to control really is this moment our breath, our bodies, and finding stillness, connecting to the essence of our being. From that place, we'll go ahead and gently bring yourself back to center. So we'll also move the hips and uh, back into the center here as well. Maybe again, a little rock side to side, kind of releasing the back there. So let's take the left knee now into chest, stretch the right leg out long and circle the toes and ankles around. And let's circle around the other direction again. We'll bring your left knee towards the armpit as we open up through the, the hips and pelvis, dra dragging the outer left thigh and the outer left hip down towards the right big toe. And feel as you do that, uh, drawing in towards the, your midline at the same time. Feel that stability. And then come back through center. We'll place the left foot over top of the right thigh, uh, flexing that ankle a lot to protect the knee and release underneath your right thigh or uh, the fingers over top of the knee. Again, here and gently rock it. Feeling a nice little stretch through the glutes and the outer hip again. A slow, even breath. Once more, we'll find some stillness here. Gently pressing the, the thighs away from your body, especially that left knee. Feel your breath rise and fall, gradually moving towards longer, smoother breaths. And every opportunity that we get here that, or that we can remember to deepen a little bit more we can increase our capacity to receive a little more and then 
give back completely and generously. Receive more fully again. Whenever you're ready, we'll lower that right foot down and stretch the left leg towards the ceiling and release underneath the left thigh. And pressing, pressing down into the earth as we push up through that heel. You can feel that outer hip pressing down towards the right big toe. You can also extend that right leg out now here whenever you're ready. Circle the toes and ankles around. And circle the other way. Again, really try to articulate so that we're not just going through the motions, but really feeling all the little parts. And then we can relax the, the foot and ankle here, or you can spread the toes, whatever feels good. Continue that action of pressing that outer thigh down towards the right big toe. Feel you're hugging the midline again, that stability in your hips and your core. In the core of your being. As you take deep, smooth, calming breaths. And then once again here, whenever you feel ready, we can lift the heart and chest up towards the, the thigh, only as far as feels comfortable for you. And uh, bottom leg slightly hovers off the mat. We can also let go here. So remember, if you start to feel your shoulders or your neck or something else take over other than your core, like even your lower back, then you've gone too far. So you just take a step back, back off a little bit, and then go to a place where you can still do the practice but it's all coming from, again, that deep, deep down in your core. Shh. Shh. Take another deep breath, inhaling a little bit more. Exhaling, slowly come down. And we'll cross that left leg over top of the right, wrapping the toes maybe back behind the ankle, left arm underneath the right, crossing elbows and wrists. Inhaling, lengthening long through your side. So as you do that, you can also feel the lower back come off the mat, right? So lengthen your side. And then as you exhale, we're going to press the lower ribs into the mat. Lift the heart. Shh. Feel that in the center of your body. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, feel your core. Shh. Try to keep your shin parallel to the mat. So you might have to shh, feel like you're lifting them up a little bit as they wrap around each other. A couple more. Really powerful breaths too. Really helps to engage that core. Exhale. From here, we're gonna inhale maybe a little bit higher. Again, if you can initiate from your core. Exhale, a little higher. One more deep breath. And then when you're ready, exhale. Come on. Cross the legs. We're going to bring your hips all the way over to the right. Uh, sorry, your left side. Left side of the mat and then knees over to the right. So stacking knees, stacking hips. Open up for your left arm. And when you're truly stacking the hips, you're not going to um, put any pressure on the low back, uh, which is uh, what we need to be safe. And also, you're doing a true spinal twist. And you're, you'll feel the, um, the shoulders and chest, perhaps, really open up here, too. Bring in deep cleansing breaths into your belly, rib cage, lungs, chest. So as we gradually become Come more into our bodies and our breath and connect to earth. You can more fully breathe and be in the moment. 
increasing our capacity again to not only receive and give back, but also to hold that unconditional loving space for anything that arises in the moment. And not holding back, but really giving ourselves fully. Really breathing and entering into this beautiful exchange with life and with the universe. Whenever you're ready, coming back to center, slowly. Again, here, if you've got any tightness there in the back, you can you know, wiggle the knees a little bit, side to, uh, sorry, back and forth as you rock. Let's bring your feet hip distance apart so the toes are slightly angled in, feel slightly out. And we're going to press down into all parts of the feet as you inhale, raise the hips, reach the arms all the way up and back. Maybe you stay there for an extra inhale or a little longer and then exhale. When you're ready, slowly bring the arms and hips back down onto the earth. At the same time, if you can time it, inhale, or just practice timing those two together. And then exhale, so the arms move just a little bit sooner, and then the hips and arms come down together. Let's try that one more time, deep, slow, inhale, raise it up. And as you exhale slowly, make your way back down. From here, we're going to raise uh, the hips just about halfway. So raise the hips halfway and then exhale, hover above the ground. Raise halfway, exhale, hover. And I want you to really stay connected through your feet again, halfway, hover, halfway. Maybe it's a little bit more than halfway, but not all the way up. And Maybe three quarters and hover above the mat. Three quarters, hover. Three quarters, hover. Once again, and hover. Good. Now this time, again, still focusing on the glutes. So we're still hovering off the mat. We're not down on the ground just yet. Um, focusing on glutes, inner thighs, and hamstrings underneath the, um, the legs here. So we squeeze and go as high as feels comfortable for you and now just hover only halfway down so we're not coming even close to the ground all the way up and then hover halfway down now if you feel going all the way up tenses your lower back at all then don't go quite that high just find a place where you can go just a little bit higher than the last set so squeezing as you root down through the feet hover halfway Squeeze and root down, hover. Squeeze and root down. Also notice if you start lifting your toes up or your heels up, really keep those feet flat and rooted, all parts. And hover, last time, squeeze. Now you can start to, as you come up, uh, maybe to your highest point or maybe just below that, again, where your back is comfortable. You can really feel, hopefully, the inner thighs, glutes, hamstrings. Now, this time we're going to let the legs come slightly open. You're still keeping your feet down. And then back to center, slightly open and back to center. So we're working those external rotators of the hips here as well. And then we're also squeezing back in to stabilize those hips. So even as you're opening slightly, you're still working those, um, those stabilizers. Keep breathing here. Again, if you feel any lower back tension, just lower down a little bit more. Don't go quite as high. All right, and then slowly lower all the way down. All right, let's bring the soles of the feet together, knees out to the sides, and soup the body pronouncement. Breathe here. We'll bring the arms 
stretch them up overhead behind you as you inhale, lengthen through your sides, really reach nice and long, and exhale, maybe bring your hands to Kali Mudra, so you're pointing index fingers and wrapping the thumbs around each other, inhale, lengthen, exhale, as we come up, try to keep the hips open and relax, exhale, inhale, exhale, so you're not trying to push your legs down or anything like that. You're just trying to keep them as relaxed as you can. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. And feel this in your core. Try not to compensate anywhere else. Last one, we come back up here. And little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep going. Inhale a little higher and exhale. Release the arms down by your sides. From here, we're going to squeeze your glutes together and your feet together. Squeeze glutes and feet and just barely lift uh, your hips up or as high as feels good for you, but just make sure that you feel that all of these muscles, all of these stabilizers are working here. And then hover. And you're not forcing more turnout than you have. Squeeze and hover. That's why I want you to keep connection through the feet here too. To squeeze the feet together, you'll feel those adductors and inner thighs get on board. And squeeze and lift and lower. Squeeze and lift and lower. Squeeze and lift and hover. Last time we're going to stay up and just do little baby pulses here. Again, if you feel lower back, just bring it down a little bit and really focus on pressing the feet together and raising your hips up and down from your uh, stabilizers, from your inner thighs, from your glutes, from your hamstrings, maybe even a little bit so. And the outer hips. A couple more breaths. Like a little mini flying butterfly. And then slowly uh, release. We're going to just go ahead and take your right leg over to the left. So we're keeping the left leg where it was. Right leg over to the left and just feel. You need to bring that knee into chest first. You're welcome to do that. If you'd like to extend this right leg out, so we stack the hip. Maybe extend it out and feel that stretch through, go through all the way through the outer leg. And hamstrings a bit too. Keep it gentle for now. And then go ahead and come back through center. We're going to take the left knee in and then over to the right. So our Supta Baddha Konasana twist. And then maybe extend that left leg out. And look over the other side one more time. Deep cleansing breaths. You want to feel a nice gentle stretch going all the way through the outside of the leg. You can also do that by think of pressing your uh, thinking of pressing your hips, your left hip down away from the shoulders. And then release, let that leg swing down. Back through center. We're going to fold the legs when you're ready here in towards each other. And a little rock again, side to side or around, whatever you're needing here. All right, from here, let's go ahead and rock and roll ourselves all the way up, or you can press, uh, roll onto your side to press up. Then from there, let's go ahead and separate the feet nice and wide apart with the knees pointing up. We're going to bring the, yeah, yeah, the hips, sorry, the knees over to your left side. Get nice and tall as you inhale, lengthen through your side. And as you exhale, look over your right shoulder. Oh, I'm sorry. If you're going left, you're looking over your left shoulder. Deep breath. And then slowly come back through center as you kind of lean back away from the legs and then twist over to your right 
all the way around and we're looking over uh, the right shoulder. You can also have your left hand here on your right thigh to give you a little bit of support. Lengthening through. Deep inhale. Longer, smoother exhale. All right, and then coming back through center over to your left one more time. This time we're going to kind of reach your right arm all the way back here. And maybe you come down to your forearm. You want to feel the stretch from your pinky finger all the way down through your, your waist, your hip, all the way down towards the knee. And then maybe from there we can turn all the way back. So maybe bringing both forearms to the ground and perhaps resting your forehead onto uh, a block or two or a pillow. You could also rest your head all the way down if you can bring your chest down to the ground and maybe rest your forehead on your hands or on the ground you can try that. Couple breaths here into your back body. See if we can continue to fill, fill up and increase our capacity, expand a little bit more into our back bodies now. Lower back, the back ribs and the space behind the heart here especially. And you're ready to come up slowly, inhaling. And then exhale, we're gonna come around the other side one more time. So now the left arm is gonna sweep. Maybe you're gonna come down onto your right forearm and you're gonna stretch that arm all the way back. So you feel again the stretch from pinky finger all the way down through your, as you push your hips up, even though you're, sorry, as your hips are on the ground, you're pushing your, your side waist up, I guess. Like we're trying to lift the hips up, but they're gonna stay down. Feel that deep stretch through the, the waist and the hip, maybe even the lower back. Then we turn to face the ground, so more fully into the twist here. Again, perhaps you're resting your forehead on something or a stack of books or something like that you could use. Or just come all the way down if it feels good. But either way, let yourself settle and then take your attention to the breath. And filling and emptying fully, completely. And when you're ready, slowly making your way up on your next inhale. And then as you exhale, let's go ahead and swing the legs around. And come onto your hands and knees here. So spreading the fingers nice and wide, let's move your hips just side to side and uh, bring your ear to the opposite shoulder. Uh, the opposite side of the hip. So we're coming into a spinal flexion, a lateral spinal flexion side to side. And then from here, let your hips circle around. So rounding through center, circle those hips, curl it up all the way around. And then circle around the other direction. So sort of moving more through your torso here. Curling, curling. And notice as you come through center and you're kind of at that, um, in that cow, or sorry, that cat pose. 
Yeah, so round, curling around this cat cow, but moving through all the in between parts as well. So it's a spiral around. And then when you come back to cat, let's go back to cat where we're really rounding. And uh, in the booty yoga practice, this is called a mega tuck. So when you, you're not going to arch your back whatsoever, you're going to stay in cow, sorry, you're going to stay in cat. And with each exhale, you're going to pump the um, pelvic floor muscles. Think of your uh, navel too, just a couple inches below the belly button. You're going to pump those muscles in and up. So we, and it's not even necessarily just the breath, but also this action of um, contracting and lifting in and upward even more than it already is. You can really feel those deep, deeper muscles here. Strengthening again, our core also helps us to strengthen the core of our being and our courage or courage. From here, we're going to move your, um, to release your lower back. You're gonna stay in that cat, but then move side to side through it. So we're still rounding the back and you're moving in a side to side through cat. And you're still tucked way in and up. Whew. Now from there, let's go ahead and send the inner thighs up and back. Look up between the brows and feel that nice stretch through your, your tummy and your abdominals. Stay here for an extra breath. So we're pressing down into the hands and the knees, lifting the heart. And then as you exhale, let's come down onto your forearms here. Actually, maybe stretch your arms out nice and long and open them up as wide as you need to. Let's come into um, Anahata Asana or heart pose, puppy pose. So as you lift the hips and relax the low back here, also relax your belly. Let your breath really flow into the belly and back out. You can bring your chin or your forehead onto the mat. And of course, adjusting your arms and shoulders however you need to. This is a great counter pose for any rounding that we might be doing. You could also turn your head to one side if that feels good for your neck. Stay here for a couple breaths and then turn your head to the other side when you're ready. And then from here, we'll slowly drag the hands back underneath you, back into cat, round. Send the inner thighs up and back again as you inhale, look up between the brows and cow, and exhale, down and facing dog, so slowly up and back. And then gently walking your feet here in place and moving those hips side to side. So also keeping a nice natural curve through your lower back here as much as we can. Especially in the beginning of practice, I've really been enjoying like keeping the knees bent. Um, as we've done last this past week, we did a lot of bear pose where we bend the knees. It's almost like down dog, but you're really bent and your hips are really high. So it's almost like you're still, your lower back has still got a natural curve and arch. And then from there, slowly, Go ahead and curl through your spine. Let's come all the way forward to plank. So adjust your hands if you need to. Plank pose, tailbone down, pressing into the fingertips. The finger pads here as we protract the shoulder blades. And then as you exhale, bend your knees through bear and then press slowly straight up to downward dog again. So let's do that in the flow. Inhale, curl to plank. Exhale, bend and press back. Inhale, up on your tippy toes, curl to plank. Exhale, bend. 
Last time we inhale and curl to plank pose. As we exhale, slowly lower chaturanga, or you can lower the knees just halfway and hold it. Then come all the way to the floor. Roll the shoulders back and down, point the toes, tuck the chin as you inhale, curl up to your spine. Squeeze those triceps into your ribs. Exhale, lead from your heart and lower. Tuck the chin again, inhale, curl, long, strong legs. As you lift the heart and gaze up, exhale, squeeze the triceps in as you lower. One more time, inhale, curl through your spine, lift. As you exhale this time, we're gonna look all the way back towards your tailbone on one side. Keep those triceps in. Inhale, keep those shoulders down. Exhale, tailbone down, look the other side. And last time, deep breath in with the heart. Exhale, lead from your heart to lower down. And then squeeze in as you press up. Exhale, let's go back through bear. So maybe even stay in bear pose here, like get your belly on top of your thighs or your thighs under your belly. And then just feel as you slowly stretch back up. Let's go ahead and walk the feet forward or you can float forward if you wanna, if you feel like hopping forward lightly, inhaling halfway, inner thighs lift up and back with the heart. Exhale and deep in your fold, and real. Root down through both feet as you inhale, come all the way up towards the sky. And as you exhale, let's open the arms down by your sides. Inhale, root down, reach up. Let's point the index fingers towards the sky, Kali Mudra again, lift the heart. Exhale, so you can wiggle the arms back behind your ears and then come up and over to your right. We're gonna stay here on your next breath, pressing down into the left foot. As you reach right, exhale, stay. Keeping those hips and shoulders square. Inhale as you come back to center. Let's hook the opposite thumb on top. As you exhale, root down to reach up before you go over. So again, as you reach over to the left, you're pressing down through the right foot, hugging the hips in. And again, inhale, so we're stabilizing the lower body as you open the up, uh, upper body. Lift the heart, look up. Exhale, let's come right down the center, bend your knees, bow forward fold. Inhale as you come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and step your left leg back into a nice deep lunge. So from here, right knee stays above the ankle, left knee onto the mat. Let's uncurl the back toes. And you're welcome to stay here or come up onto, uh, interlace your fingers onto your thigh. So I want you to focus uh, more on, again, hugging the thighs towards each other and pressing down into that right big toe. So really working on the stabilizers here, the hips and the low back. So you don't feel, you feel a stretch and strengthening going on at the same time. This is our best recipe for mobility. Because if we become over flexible in one way or over strong in one way, then we imbalance and cause, uh, can cause injury. Let's see if we can find the balance between the two here. And then if it feels good for you, we can slowly sink now into the hips and let it go a little bit more, but not too much. Again, just paying attention, listening to your body. We inhale, sink to lift the heart, look up. Exhale, release. Let's go ahead and curl the back toes under here. Bend into the back knee. Root down onto your, your hands. And then again, maybe interlace on top of the thigh. So back knees bent, tailbone drawing down. And as the tailbone's drawing down, you feel this uh, deep stretch in your left hip flexor, so the one where the knee is pointing down to the floor. So hugging, now think of hugging those thighs towards each other again. Really creating that stability and support there. And then from here, let's inhale, Get nice and low as you reach up and lengthen the side body. As you exhale, push down into the earth to straighten the front leg. And then again, bend into both knees. Inhale, get low. Exhale, root down to rise. 
stretching the legs. Inhale, get nice and low, strong through the legs. Exhale, stretch. This time as you inhale, lengthen. Find that stability as you exhale. Hands come behind you, interlace the fingers, yoga mudra. Roll the shoulders back and inhale. Lift and open the heart and chest here. As you exhale, let's bring the chin belly in. Inhale, straighten the back knee now. Exhale, hover. Inhale, stretch the back leg. Exhale to hover. One last time, inhale. Remember, you can always come down. Exhale, hover. This time as you inhale, lift the heart, look up. As you exhale, we bow forward. We stay low and then straighten the back knee. So try to keep your hips low as you can. We pull that right thigh, that right outer hip in and back. Bow your head, stretch your shoulders here. Try not to rest on your right thigh. Really focus on the shoulders and keep those legs and glutes nice and strong. Couple more breaths. Last one here. Exhaling. Slowly releasing. Good. Let's lower that left knee down. Inhale, sink the hips, lift the heart without um, skewing the hips. Exhale, we slowly pull the toes back and stretch the front leg. Breathe here for a moment. Feels good. Again, we inhale, come forward, lift the heart. Exhale, stretch through the front leg. Toes up, if you can. Inhale, come through. Last time we exhale, stretch that front leg. So it's very easy for us to want to sit back into this. And yeah, if you're feeling a good stretch that way, you certainly can. If you want to really deepen your stretch and also stabilize your hips and your core, we want to lift up, maybe even move that foot forward if you need to. And send your left thigh bone, so your back thigh, bring it up and forward. And really feel the stretch. And if you want to feel the stretch higher up in the hamstrings, you can bring your foot further forward, but keep lifting up and forward. So it's, so this is Ardha Hanumanasana, or your half splits pose. But it's as if you're trying to go into your full splits, right? So you wouldn't be able to go into full splits sitting back into your heel. So you can also turn your toes side to side here, if that's something that you like to do. Just kind of gives you uh, different angles of this stretch. You can circle the foot around. Some of you might feel like you want to go deeper, and that's totally fine. Whenever you're ready here, we're going to go and um, bring the left knee uh, back behind the right knee and squeeze the knees together. So squeeze and hug. And then as you inhale, we're going to stretch that left leg towards the ceiling, bow your head and standing splits. We want to try to keep that left hip square as we can. So try to get that left outer thigh to roll down. And then bend your left knee behind the right knee again. Squeeze. Root down into the floor as you stretch the back leg. Exhale and squeeze. One more time. Inhale, root down, stretch. Exhale, squeeze and stay here. So really get nice and low. Squeeze both knees or bend both knees deeply and Flex that back foot. Squeeze the back of your right knee with your left knee. And then bring your thumbs to the heart center. Now really feel that you're scooping your pelvic floor muscles, navel to spine. Hugging in. Deep cleansing breaths. Keeping your gaze steady. Your breath steady. Keeping back flat. Beautiful. From here, we're going to go ahead and bring your left leg now. So the back knee is going to wrap around over top of your right leg. Feel that right standing leg now. Maybe wrapping your toes back behind the ankle. Maybe not. Just listen to your body. So now we're in eagle pose. Again, see if you can push the hips back and down. So think butt back and then go down. 
but keep your, your pelvic floor muscles lifting up. And you're welcome to stay here, hands in prayer on your hips. You can also bring your left arm underneath the right here and come into full expression of eagle pose. You can also hold opposite shoulders or just bring your elbows and your hands together. Uh, so you're having to use your muscles here to internally rotate. Take one more deep breath. As you exhale, we're going to push down through that right leg to push back through warrior three. Scoop the belly, outer thigh rolling down. Take one more breath here. Say thank you to your standing leg. <laughs> exhale, bend into the front knee as you step back. Inhale, lift up through your heart center. Maybe your hands are in prayer or you're reaching up in eagle. Exhale, release the hands around as you inhale, palms to prayer. Exhale. So open your heart here and then turn in that back leg right leg to the sky finally stretch it up and shake out that right leg beautiful great work hanging in there stay with breath and we do what we can in the moment where you are in the moment is perfect it's exactly where you need to be from here bring that right thigh and heel up nice and high into your belly. And we're gonna go ahead and, um, uh, let's actually bring your knee to your left tricep here as you twist first. And then extend that right leg out. So I'm gonna flip myself around so you can see the pose. Right hand to center, spin your left heel down. So we're in ball and triangle. We lift up through the hips. You can keep the hand on the hip if you like. Or bring that left arm up, stacking the shoulders, or you could also Circle it all the way down and around. So again, we feel that beautiful stretch from pinky toe to the pinky finger. Take one more breath here as we lift the hips, lift the heart. Roll it up to the sky. Exhale, come back to center. Let's go ahead and bring your right leg back up to the sky. Inhale, three leg dog. And shake it out if you need. Exhale, right knee forward and foot to the left. Come into your pigeon pose. So let's pull that right hip up and back. Lengthen long through your sides here. Deep, slow inhale, lift through the heart center, lift the chest. And exhale, if you like to, you can come onto the fingertips. Arms spread wide and lower your heart and then your chest. So we can tuck the chin. Inhale, curling up to your spine, undulating. Through the spine, exhale, lower the heart and then the head. This is also a nice stretch for the neck. As you inhale, as you keep your chin tucked in until the very end, you raise up. And then exhale, let's go ahead and just fold over that leg. Remember, you can always um, go back to lying on your back, figure or any other hip opener that serves you. Slow deep breaths here. All right, we inhale slowly, make your way back up, lengthen through your spine, exhaling down or facing dog and just feel. Notice what you notice here. Deep breaths. Feel the difference between right and left side. As you inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, bend into your knees. Let's push up and back through there again. Inhale, curl forward, then let's lower down as you exhale, or you can rest here, halfway, and come all the way down, roll the shoulders back, point the toes, inhale, lift the heart, cold breath, exhale, reverse push-up, back through bear maybe here, and then down the facing dog. Deep cleansing breaths. Up on the tippy toes as you inhale, exhale, bend, look forward, walk or float forward. To the top of your mat, inhaling halfway flat back. Exhaling deep in your fold. Root down through both feet, inhale, rise. And exhale, arms down by your sides. 
When you're ready, deep breath in, reach up. Exhale, bow forward, fold. Lengthen long through your sides, flat back. Exhale, fold. Let's step your right leg back into a nice deep lunge. Big step back, lower the right knee down and curl the back toes. Interlace your fingers on top of your left thigh and we're again lifting our bellies away from the thighs so we lift up out of the legs. And we're hugging the thighs towards each other. Feel those stabilizers and hips get nice and square. Breathe through. Lengthening through your sides. And again, maybe from here, we inhale, keep rooting down. Maybe we let the hips go, sink forward a little bit more if it feels good. And then exhale, lower down the hands. Let's lift off the back knee here. Bend into your back knee a lot. Root down into your front foot. Maybe we stay on the ground or maybe you interlace your fingers once again on top of the thigh. Draw the tailbone down and feel the pubic bone lift up so you feel again that deep stretch through the right thigh now. Breathe deeply. And again from here we're going to inhale, reach the arms up, lengthen the sides of your body as you sink your hips lower. And then as you exhale, push down through both feet to rise and grow tall. Inhale, get nice and low, lift through the heart. Exhale, root down through both feet. Again, deep, slow inhale. Feel those hips, thighs hugging together. Exhale, press into the earth to grow tall. Last time as you inhale, stay here, lengthen your sides. Exhale, interlace the opposite thumb on top. Four finger and thumb, roll the shoulders back and then stretch the knuckles away. So be careful not to splay out the ribs here. Keep the ribs hugging in, just the shoulders are stretching. Take a nice deep breath, lift the heart. Exhale, we stretch. Sorry, from here we inhale, lengthen. And then we exhale, get nice and low in our lunge. Inhale, stretch the legs up. Exhale, hover the back knee above the ground, only as low as it's comfortable. Inhale, stretch the back knee. Exhale, hover. We stay here as you inhale, focus on the shoulders again, lift the heart. Navel to spine. Exhale, bow forward inside of the leg. Stretch the back knee. So we stay low and the back knee straightens without lifting the hips. Try to keep those hips low. We hug that outer left thigh in and back. Bow your head, tuck the chin. Feel the stretch deeply in your shoulders here. Cleansing, nourishing breaths. And we'll go ahead and take one more deep breath here. Hugging in, try not to rest on your thigh. Feel the strength of the legs and the glutes. Release the hands. Slowly lower that right knee down. Inhale, lift the heart. Sink the hips. Exhale, pull the hips back, toes up. Stretch the front leg. And we'll take an extra breath here. And then when you're ready, lunging forward. Inhale, lift the heart. Try not to uh, twist the hips, so exhale, stretch the front leg. Once again, inhale, sink and lift the heart. And exhale, stretch that front leg out. Ooh. Breathe here. Again, you'll notice I'm, I'm sort of sitting back here as well. Because as we move through that, we naturally kind of move back. But now we want to straight uh, bring your leg forward a, a few inches at least. And think of sending your back thigh bone up and forward towards the front foot. So we can really feel again the squareness of the hips. And we feel as if we're trying to go into the splits here. Maybe again turning the toes side to side. Feel. I feel like this is one of my favorite sequences for the hamstrings because um, you really get a deep warming effect in those um, hamstrings and the glutes and the standing leg before you do this deep stretching. 
Just be careful that you don't overdo the stretch just because it, it feels so good. Maybe it does. <laughs> that we listen to our bodies and uh, approach it with, with love and care, with nurturing. There's no force. There's a favorite uh, quote, and I'm probably going to butcher it, but from uh, Lao Tzu. Um, Those who flow with with life uh, need no other force. So again, listening to our bodies and our breath and following that flow without trying to force anything to happen. But that is the most powerful force is the the connection to the moment and the flow, the flow within the universe if we connect to it. Let's go ahead and from here lunge forward. We're pushing off the back foot. Push through that heel and bend that right knee behind the left knee. Squeeze together. Inhale, this time we're gonna stretch up into your standing splits. Exhale, squeeze the knees together. Inhale, press down, reach it up, stretch. And exhale, squeeze. From here, we squeeze both knees together. Try to get as low as we can. Bend both knees deeply. And then bring your hands to the heart center by lifting up through your pelvic floor, scooping the navel to spine, and lengthening your spine and back. Keeping a nice flat back and your gaze steady, your breath steady. Keep that right foot flexed as well, that back foot. And as you start to feel that warming and you want to come out of the pose, stay with it. Take one more breath. And then as you exhale, we're going to lift up and cross the right leg on top of the left. Now, maybe crossing the toes back behind, sitting way back in your chair. So first, I think of getting the butt back first, and then you'll feel this natural lift and scoop in your, na- uh, your belly, and then start to go low. So we get back and then down. So think from the waist down, you're drilling into the earth. From the waist up, you're growing taller towards the sky. Maybe, again, some of you might like to bring your left arm underneath the right, crossing elbows and wrists. Palms can come together in prayer. So the wrapping is the opposite of the legs. The right, oh, I'm sorry, your right arm should be under the left. Since the right leg is on top, the right arm goes under. Try to keep, again, your navel to spine. Cleansing breaths, root down, feel that fire. We're gonna push through your right heel to come forward into warrior three, rear of a three. So as you push through the heel, press forward through the crown, feel that connection to your core, and then bend the front knee, step back and lunge. Inhale to warrior one. So we lift the heart, arms up. Exhale, release the hands, full circle around as you inhale, palms to prayer. And exhale, big circle of the arms. Left uh, Left leg goes up and back, three leg dog, open the hip, shake out the leg, breathe. And then whenever you're ready here, let's bring your left knee towards your right tricep. Again, I'm just gonna flip my body around so you can see it. Left knee to right tricep, hold. Extend the left leg out, just past your right hand. Left hand to center, spin your right hand to the ground. Lift up to those hips. Right arm can stack here if you want. We can also swing the right arm down and through and come into your your full expression or whatever that may be for you. Reaching along in all directions, your fallen triangle. But even as a fallen triangle, your heart is open and ready to receive and learn and grow. And then we bend into that knee as we slowly bring that left leg up and back again, three leg dog. 
Again, you're welcome to shake out that leg a little bit. Left knee comes forward, foot to the right. And we're here. Flex that left ankle a lot. And again, you can curl the back toes under to check the hips are nice and square there. Relax the back foot. Inhale, come on to fingertips. Lengthen, lift up. As you exhale, we can walk the hands forward a little bit. Bend the elbows, lower the heart. When you're ready, tuck the chin, inhale. So you can adjust your hands and your arms however you need. Exhale so that you can fully undulate the spine and make this feel good for you. Tuck the chin, inhale, nice stretch through the back of the neck. And exhale. We're going to do this one last time. As you inhale, curl it up. And then maybe some of you here, as you get to the top, you want to stretch your neck from side to side so you can roll your head from one side to the other. Whatever you need. You're always welcome to take these sort of little breaks for your neck and then fold all the way down when you're ready. So deep, again, cleansing breaths here into your back body, into the hips. So in a sense, again, we're tapping into that superpower that we always have access to, that is always with us to create space, increase our capacity, and eventually come to that infinite capacity that we have, that we're born with. And that infinite capacity to hold unconditional love and space for everything that may arise. For all of our challenges and triggers and addictions, to distraction, all of these different things, but you are the space of love and always come back to that. And embrace every part of you. When you can embrace it all, the things that no longer need to be there will leave. But it's all there to teach us something. When you're ready, inhaling slowly back up to rise. Exhaling down and facing dog and feel. Once again, notice what you notice. <sighs> feel free to stay here or inhale forward to plank. Exhale, lower slowly, chaturanga halfway and stay. Then lower down, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, cold breath. Lift through the heart center. Exhale, release. Let's go ahead and press up and back. This time we're going to swing the legs forward and make our way all the way down. So last bridge pose we're going to take to open up, uh, lift the hips, open up the uh, heart center. So we're rolling down, feet are hip distance apart. We lift the root down through those feet and lift those hips nice and high. So once you're here, again, finding a place that is comfortable, uh, for your low back as well, and that you can stay rooted and connected to the earth through the feet. We interlace the fingers underneath your body and roll the shoulders back. You can really feel that you can lift up through your chest and your heart center without overdoing it on the back, the lower back here too. So you can kind of keep those two separate if you want. You can roll those shoulders back, lift the heart as high as you can, and then keep your, your hips in check here if you need to. Again, feel your breath rise and fall through your belly. And if you
you're also able to you're also able to uh, feel your your glutes and hamstrings, your inner thighs really engaged. Take one more deep breath here. And as you exhale, let's go ahead and slowly sit down onto your hands. So the shoulders are still rolled under you and you're massaging your hands and your wrists as you sit down onto them. And go ahead from here, release. Let's come into uh, a happy baby, holding on to your ankles, your shins, or the outer edges of your feet. You can also take the big toes, whatever you need here, and go ahead and open up those hips. Try to keep your tailbone and sacrum pressing down to the earth. So notice if you have to, in order to do that, if you have to, you can put a pillow under your head if that makes you sort of lift your head up. But we really want to keep that sacrum tailbone towards the ground here. It'll be a true uh, external rotation of the hips and not compensate with the low back. We're going to bring the feet as wide apart as the mat and windshield wipe your knees over to one side. Go ahead and take that foot on top. So if, you're, if your knees are to the right, then your right foot goes on top of the left knee. And if your knees are to the left, then your left foot would go on top. But again, just check it out for yourself. Make sure it's okay for your body today. Feel that big stretch. You can even reach your arms up overhead and stretch. Reach long, stretch through the side waist. And melt back into the earth, you can bend into the elbows. Let it go. As you come back to center, feet stay wide apart and windshield wipe. So come back up and then windshield wipe over to the other side. So again, you can stay here if you're feeling enough here. Or you can take that le uh, left foot. If you're on the left side, take it over top of the knee. Guide that whole side down. You can feel that stretch go all the way up to your waistline. You can stretch the arms up again here if it feels good. Big full breaths. And then releasing that foot and leg again there. So once you come back through center, and wiggle, let's bring your hands underneath your lower back and wiggle your six bones apart. So what that really means is we're trying to like pull our butt cheeks out from underneath us and kind of pull them out to the sides a little bit. So you're gonna feel the back of your pelvis really settle into the ground and you feel this nice natural curve of the low back. And then stretch the legs long because when we often, when we hunch over and we're sitting, we're collapsing that natural curve in the wrong direction. So we wanna make sure that we encourage it as often as we can. And then once you're there, just settle into it, let yourself melt. So there's no holding. Again, you're welcome to Open the arms out, spread out as much as you like here. Make yourself as comfortable and as warm as is needed. Perhaps palms facing up towards the sky in a gesture of being open to receive. Giving yourself to the earth, giving yourself to the universe. With full trust and love and awareness that all is well and everything is on its way. Knowing that you can be guided and led from your heart and that following your heart 
means that you're truly safe. And you'll truly be taken care of as you listen to your heart. With each breath, continue to feel and visualize your capacity and your heart growing bigger and fuller. Falling more and more in love with yourself. Gradually allowing yourself to fall in love with what is allowing ourselves to try it. Stay with that feeling of love. Just be. Taking a couple of slow, deep breaths. Just 
gently beginning to awaken the fingertips and the toes. Grab slowly stretching your arms overhead behind you and stretching your whole body as you inhale. And melt back into the earth as you sigh and exhale. Gently walking the feet back up onto your mat and rolling onto your left side into a fetal position, left arm with a pillow underneath you. It's going to take a couple of slow, deep breaths there on that side. And just allowing yourself to notice what you notice. Letting go of any judgments or need to change anything or do anything. And pressing into your right palm as you're ready to exhale and slowly rise up, finding your way into a tall and comfortable seated posture that is right for you today. And rooting down to your seat, your legs, as you grow tall through the spine. Feel space become free between each vertebrae. Feel all the space in your body become free. Observing the space of love and freedom that you already are, that you always have access to. honoring the wisdom of the body and honoring ourselves and one another as we join the hands together by your heart center in the uh, Anjali Mutra or prayer. And as you're ready, inhaling to lift the heart slightly up towards the hands, opening the heart space a little bit more. And then as we exhale, bowing the head in towards the heart, Again, allowing ourselves to lead from our hearts, from our courage, from a deep knowing and understanding. Bowing humbly to that light, that teacher and that wisdom that dwells within. Thank you for practicing. Namaste.